the stealing bromosapro is, is a pain in the ass because of the cleavage, which I found out the hard way. You know about the, the, the bromine molecule cleaving off that There's and what, what, the, what the result is? Produces isosaffral or back to saffral, right? Well, yeah, but it, it creates an explosion and, it, and it, uh, it cleaves and it makes a huge amount of smoke. Well, when the time came to distill the bromosaffral, I was like, ah, I can do this. Here's where the problem ends up being. You set up for, you're for uh, you know, back to still, you know, below atmospheric. The bromo saffron is very sensitive to heat and vac just like being disrupted. It will superheat like that, like super fast. In other words, let's say for instance, I've got my, my stir, my stir going, I got my vac set up going, you know, got everything going. I know my order of operations. I, I you know, set my vac or stir, vac, heat. You know, you got to do it in that order. So I've got that going. Everything's going fail. I got the heat up. I don't remember if it's like four or five, six, maybe on the on the dial. It's not all the way up. It's not all the way up. Um, you you start collecting over about seventy five C. Let's say, for instance, your vacuum goes out at this point, or you have to change a flask out for your receiver flask. Do you know what I'm talking about? You change you take your vac out real quick, and you change your receiver flask to a dry one to collect your now bromosaphro coming over. Yeah. In that meantime, from when your vacuum is broken, that bromosaphro superheats very, very quickly. And if I, if I don't do it fast enough, that bromine molecule will cleave off of that saffron, and in the process, it creates an explosion. And it is a huge, it doesn't, it's not a fireball, it's not, there's no fire, but it, it explodes and it, shoots, it breaks the glass, throws shit everywhere. You know, I had a thermometer go through the roof, go into the roof. You know, it, it cleaved. Like, and I did not know about this until I found it the hard way. Was that frightening? The explosion was extremely frightening. And if I'm going to be honest with you, the only thing that saved me that night from not going to jail, and it was cloudy as fuck outside and raining. Because so while that explosion I had from the first bromo saffron I distilled, and it, it, it broke vacuum, and it, it, and it cleaved, I mean, it's a lot of smoke. And I, I remember the next day I pissed bright orange thinking the bromine molecules just ran through me. Seriously, I'm not joking. Wow. I'm not joking. And I remember thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to prison now because there's smoke billowing out my window, billowing. And the only thing that saved me is it was probably two in the morning and it was pouring down rain and cloudy as fuck outside. If it had been a sunny, uh, clear sky, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now.